We're counting down to the Super Bowl now. Super Bowl 50, Peyton Manning and the Broncos up against Cam Newton's Panthers. That is not the only matchup, though. Look at Amy Schumer and Seth Rogen for Bud Light right there. ABC's Chris Connolly has more about the ad lineup. From date nights and websites to Bud Lights. We get the middle of my back. There is no middle. Candy bars and fancy cars, plus movie stars with Pikachu and Tyler 2. The ads slated for Super Bowl 50 shape up to be another elite group, and they better be. With 30 second spots on the telecast said to be going for as much as $5 million, major impact is a must have. There are very few places advertisers can go to get a lot of people in one shot and the Super Bowl is it. Last year, the Super Bowl had a record 114 million viewers. That sort of opportunity simply doesn't exist in this day and age. Aerosmith Steven Tyler walking this way for Skittles. Website creator Squarespace nabbing comic duo Key and Peele. Starring the incomparable Liam Neeson. And yes, Liam Neeson himself representing for LG Electronics. Soccer great Abby Wambach sings the Mini Cooper's praises, while Christopher Walken weighs in for Kia. Amy Schumer and Seth Rogen are beer bottle buddies, and comic actor T.J. Miller will have his modesty on tap. It's going to be the greatest Super Bowl commercial of all time. Do you understand? While three different shot by amateurs clips are competing for Doritos 30 second slot. All of these mini epics eager to get your attention the way Budweiser's lost puppy did at Super Bowl 49 last year. So don't go away. For Good Morning America, Chris Connolly, ABC News, Los Angeles. Oh, that was definitely the best commercial. Oh, easily, last year. that was so great last year. Looks like they might try to top it this year, though. It's better and better every year. That's one thing you can always look forward to every Super Bowl. Agreed. Yeah.